Well, good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Great to see you today. Uh, I want to I want to share with you some things today, and this is just sort of John's observations. And I look around, I see some things, and when I'm distressed about what's going on, it just seems like Psalm 11 has always been such a blessing and such a help. And I hope it will be to you too. The psalmist uh, is in a different situation than you and I are in, but there's some very, very much some similarities that are there. And uh, so I want to take the psalmist approach to what's going on around him and hopefully in the midst of that, encourage our hearts today as well. Uh, in Psalm 11, uh, the scripture says, in the Lord, I take my refuge. All right, there's the psalmist at the very beginning, helping us to get a grasp and that, a little foundation. In the Lord, I take my refuge. And so then uh, the question comes to him, how can you say to my soul, flee as a bird to your mountain? For behold, the wicked bend the bow. They make ready their arrow upon the string to shoot in darkness at the upright in heart. If the foundations are destroyed, what can the righteous do? What's he doing? Well, he's taking a look around him. And, uh, you know, there's a lot going on in our country right now and in our area that's uh, enough to distress us. You know, we got cities that are burning and protests going on and uh, contentiousness and all kind of stuff going on. It just seems like the world, or at least the world that we've known, is sort of getting turned on its head. The psalmist here helps us. Now look, it's okay to take a look around. And that's what he does. And he, he looks at it honestly. He said, you know, what should I do? Should I run away and go get in a cave and hermitize myself? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Uh, it almost sounds like something sometimes I want to do. Uh, but it's what he said. No, the, the, in the Lord I take my refuge. But then he's honest enough to look around and say, hey, look, here, look at the wickedness that's going on. And then that really poignant verse there, and verse 3, if the foundations be destroyed, what will the righteous do? Now, I'm not an alarmist in any way, and uh, I've lived long enough to see America come through some pretty significant things. But I'm worried about the foundations that I see being destroyed now. So as, as a believer, Spencer, grab that phone over there. Uh, as a believer, what what I do with that? Well, we need to take a look around. What the psalmist does next, I think, is where we've got to kind of get our hands around. In verse 4, he says, the Lord is in his holy temple. What does he do? He takes a look upward. All right? Yeah, let's be aware of what's going on around us. But our hope is when we take a look upward. The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold. His eyelids test the sons of men. The Lord tests the righteous and the wicked. And the one who loves violence, his soul hates. So here's the answer to look upward. When the foundations look like they're being destroyed, look upward. When my heart wants to flee and disappear, look upward. What, what does he say the Lord does? He says that the Lord sees. The Lord's aware. He's on his holy throne. I mean, he sees all things, right? And he also is testing the wicked and the righteous, we, we, you know, in times like this, the righteous, those who embrace Jesus are being tested and, and our faith is being grounded and, and uh, worked on and, and the rough edges worked off. He, he's doing that with us, but he's also testing the righteous, not the unrighteous, the wicked, to see if they'll turn from their ways. He's on his throne. Well, what a comfort that is. And then finally, the, the last part here is to look forward. Uh, distressing to us now, yeah, comforting that the Lord's on his throne, but, but what's, what's ahead? And so he takes a look forward. In verse 6, he says, Upon the wicked he, God, will rain snares. Fire and brimstone and burning wind will be the portion of their cup. What is he saying? God, in his timing and in his way, is going to deal with wickedness in this earth, just like he deals with the wickedness in our hearts. But there's more. That's for the wicked. But for the, for the Lord is righteous. He loves righteousness. Now watch this. The upright will 
behold his face. You know, I'm thinking about it in an ultimate sense, what's going to happen? The Lord's going to judge. He, he is a righteous judge, and he's going to judge the wickedness of this world. But what does he do for those whom he's called to himself? To those who he has made righteous as he is righteous, the upright in heart, we will see his face. The old hymn writer said, face to face with Christ my Savior. Face to face, what will it be? When with rapture I behold him, Jesus Christ who died for me. Now folks, look around, but don't forget to look up. And then in faith, look forward. May God help us. May God bless us. Hope your day is good. Thank you.